Dear students, welcome to my channel BioDio. The video lessons in biology for plus one and plus two students. In today's class, we are going to discuss something regarding the central dogma of molecular biology. As far as molecular biology is concerned, the key idea of uh, various activities is described in this system called central dogma. The central dogma describes how the information stored in the DNA molecules of one organism is transmitted or uh, the informational flow from one system to another system is actually called the central dogma. So the central dogma uh, describes the pattern of informational flow. The information is actually contained in the DNA molecule. It is transmitted to RNA then finally it is transmitted to protein. So we can see how the central dogma is working. So first of all central dogma in molecular biology the central idea the key idea dogma means idea or concept the key concept in molecular biology is called central dogma so here you can see that the central dogma first of all described by francis crick francis uh, crick in the year 1957-58 so he described how the process of informational tra uh, transfer take place in different organisms and each and every cell of the organisms so you know the information are actually coded pre-recorded in double stranded dna molecules the double stranded dna is considered to be the genetic material so that contain all the information so the, the dna molecule is having a specific properties that one dna molecule is capable of producing its own copy having the same uh, genetic information that means the information can be transmitted from one DNA molecule to another DNA molecule. Likewise, the information in the DNA can be transmitted from the information in the DNA can be transmitted from double stranded DNA to single stranded RNA. The RNA molecules are always single stranded. So there is another process of information transfer. So, I am describing two types of information transfer here. One is from DNA to DNA, another from DNA to RNA. The DNA to DNA process, the process is simply called replication. It is called a replication. So, replication means the synthesis of daughter DNA from mother DNA. The replica production having the same information so the replica production is called replication but in the case of uh, uh, rna synthesis from dna molecule the script which is present the document which is present in the dna is transferred into rna the transfer of script take place so the process is called transcription the process is called a transcription transferring of script from DNA to RNA is called a transcription. Then the RNA molecule then transfer this information to protein molecules. The protein molecules by another process, that process is called translation. It is called a translation. Why this is called a translation? In the case of DNA or RNA, the messages are written in nucleotide language. Understood? The nucleotides are the building blocks of nucleic acids. So whether it is a deoxyribonucleic acid or DNA or ribonucleic acid or RNA, the informational system is recorded by using a nucleotide sequence or nucleotide language. But in the case of protein, it is also a macromolecule. The protein molecule is constructed, you know, it is by the assemblage of amino acids. So we can say the language in the protein molecule is called amino acid language. 
So the message written in one language is converted into a message written in another language. So the process must be called what? Translation, isn't it? So in the case of uh, DNA or RNA, the language used is considered to be nucleotide language. In the case of protein, the language is considered to be amino acid language. Hence, the process is described as translation. So, we can say that in the case of replication, one DNA is producing its copy. The process is called replication. So many enzymes are involved. The most important enzyme, the most important enzyme needed for the process is called DNA dependent DNA polymerase. The enzyme is called DNA dependent DNA polymerase. DNA polymerase is the enzyme for the synthesis of DNA, main enzyme. So many other enzymes are also there. But this DNA polymerase is working on the basis of another DNA, mother DNA. So the enzyme is called DNA dependent DNA polymerase, right? So the replication is the transfer of information from mother DNA to daughter DNA by using DNA dependent DNA polymerase. So in the same sense, what can be the major enzyme, main enzyme for transcription? You can say that in transcription, the information from DNA is transferred into RNA, like so, from DNA to RNA, the information transfer takes place or we are synthesizing RNA based on the base sequence of DNA, right? So, the enzyme needed there will be called DNA dependent RNA polymerase, okay? The enzyme needed for transcription is called DNA dependent RNA polymerase. So the, now the information is transmitted from double stranded DNA to single stranded RNA. By using the RNA information, our cells are capable of associating amino acids in a particular sequence and the sequence of amino acids determine the property of the protein. So, the sequencing of amino acid uh, based on the RNA sequence, the process is called a translation. Here also, so many enzymes are needed, a series of enzymes are needed, but the main enzyme needed here is called peptidyl transferase or you can ca also called peptide synthetase. That is the main enzyme. So these are not the not the only enzymes. So many other enzymes are also involved, and these are the main enzymes. So this process, this diagram clearly determines or describes how the central dogma of molecular biology is working. So central dogma means the process of uh, transmission of uh, information, the informational transfer system. You see, the major enzymes are the major uh, system. Informations are collected inside the DNA molecule. The DNA molecule is capable of producing its own copy. The process is called replication and the enzyme needed is called DNA dependent DNA polymerase. Then the DNA molecules are having one more property that they are capable of producing RNA molecules. The RNA molecules are generally single stranded by another process. The process is called transcription. And the enzyme needed for transcription, the main enzyme needed for transcription is called DNA dependent RNA polymerase. Right? Then, based on the information collected by RNA molecule, amino acids are arranged in a particular sequence. It is a very important process. Uh, the mechanism is called a translation and the main, main enzyme is called a peptidyl transferase or peptide synthetase. Now, you can say that the protein molecule thus created, the protein molecule thus created either have structural properties or have enzymatic properties. The structural proteins are there, enzymatic proteins are there. The structural proteins are used for body building. They are used for body building. The enzymatic uh, proteins are used for maintaining or controlling the various metabolism. Okay. So, these are the main aspect, how the type of the body, 
is determined by the type of the protein. The type of the metabolism is also determined by the type of the protein. Okay. The type of the protein is determined by the type of information in the RNA. The type of information in the RNA is actually pre-coded uh, in the DNA sequences. Okay. So, already every information are recorded in the DNA molecule and for, for making a protein, the information is transmitted first to RNA then to protein and this process is called central dogma. Okay. Now, one exception is there in the case of some viruses. Instead of DNA molecule, RNA will be the genetic material. Okay. So, that viruses are called RNA viruses. So, in RNA viruses, there is a special mechanism. The RNA is the genetic material. The information is transmitted from RNA to DNA. RNA to DNA. So, the process is called central dogma reverse. And this was described by Temin and Baltimore. So, the central dogma reverse is also described as Teminism. It is described as Teminism. Okay. So, when RNA is capable of transferring information to DNA, what can be the protein? What can be the enzyme? So, when the information is transmitted from uh, DNA to RNA, the enzyme is called DNA dependent RNA polymerase, right? But when the information is transmitted from RNA to DNA, the enzyme can be called RNA dependent DNA polymerase. The enzyme is called RNA dependent DNA polymerase or it is otherwise called reverse transcriptase. Because the process is called reverse transcription. Okay. The information transfer from DNA to RNA is called a transcription and the same process if it occurs in the reverse direction. RNA to DNA it is called reverse transcription. The enzyme is called reverse transcriptase or the RNA dependent DNA polymerase that occurs only in RNA viruses. Okay. So, these are some basic idea regarding what is called the central dogma in molecular biology. Okay, thank you.